Welcome, everybody. Thank you to uh, for everyone for joining another one of our Red Tail Practice Management Spotlights. The, the purpose of these Practice Management Spotlights is to kind of get out of the tech, so to speak, but not too much. Um, we usually bring in, rather than um, integration partners, although they do sometimes participate in our Practice Management Spotlights, we like bringing in industry professionals who have pieces of information, tidbits, really important uh, action items to share with you um, and it's really just a, a matter of making you aware of some of the things that you might not be doing or that you might be doing but you might not, not be doing the most effectively and what's really nice about these practice management webinars is that you know we we try our very best to give action items that can be taken away from the webinar but also we give you know, the option and we make available and we introduce you to tools and services and companies out there that are helping with these practice management um, headaches, aches and pains, if you will. Um, so we're really excited to do these uh, just as a way to grow your practice, as a way to increase um, just in this case, you know, doubling your income, working with your existing clients, acquiring new clients. And with us today, we have Paul Karasik. And Paul Karasik, uh, I love having Paul on because number one, me and him are of very like minds. Number two, he's been doing this longer than I have. So so he's uh, he definitely knows his stuff. He's the president of the Financial Advisor Coaching Institute and the Wholesaler Institute. And he's devoted over 20 years to helping sales and management professionals achieve their goals. He's the author of, of four all-time business classics. He's got a ton of books out there. Um, a couple of his most recent ones are How to Market to High and High Net Worth Households and Brilliant Thoughts. He's also the founder, and this is more kind of more important to today's topic, but he is the founder of the American Seminar Leaders Association and a presenter at conferences, including Million Dollar Roundtable and the National Association of Insurance and Financial Advisors. And that's kind of what we're talking about today. We're talking about events and presenting and how that can help you. So with all of that being said, Paul, I believe the floor is yours, my friend. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Ricky. Yes, it's it's a pleasure to work with Red Tail. Um, I, thank you for the intro. I'll, I'll sum up it just a couple of seconds just to, to clarify what we do. We do one thing, and we've been doing that one thing for about 25 years, and that, that's helping advisors grow their practice and helping financial professionals grow their practice. That That's it. So we're kind of a one-trick pony. Um, that's all we do, but we do it really good, spending 20 or 30 years focused on just that topic. How do you grow your business? How do you get more clients? Um, how do you expand? And to that extent, um, today's program is right on the mark. It's a pleasure to be involved with Redtail. Redtail is, is actually one of our perfect strategic partners. They believe in the strategies we're going to be talking about today to grow your practice and double your income and get more clients, um, so much so that they built a lot of the things that I'll be talking about today into the Redtail uh, CRM. Uh, so they're very devoted to helping you grow your practice, and they do a bunch of stuff like this and, and all kinds of education that Ricky's head of and does a great job with. So pleasure to be here. Um, we've got uh, – I'm going to get you guys who are in a rush to get back to the computer screen or appointments or whatever you got to do today. Uh, we'll end up at about uh, 2 tw – uh, excuse me, my time, Pacific time, 10.20. 10:25 or maybe 10:30 possibly, but we will hard stop 10:30 of exposition. At that point, if you want to ask some questions, that's wonderful. I look forward to that, um, and I want to talk about the topic that again uh, we we here have devoted our life to. At the end of this presentation today, um, we've got a nice offer for you if you're interested in growing your practice. It's it's a free offer, so. Stay tuned for that. That's going to come in a little bit later. We've got some books available that are free and some audios that are free and, and, and ways for you to get to grow your practice that, that uh, thanks to um, sponsors and, and Redtail, we can we can offer you for free. So stay on for that. Uh, don't quit before the, the miracle, as they like to say. So miracle be some free books. Uh, with that, let's get let's get going. Let's let's talk about uh, some basic overall strategies, uh, overall 
overriding uh, concepts in terms of growing your practice. And then, then let's go and really take it down to what can I do right now, right today, today to grow my practice, to get more clients, to get more people in the door. What can I do right now, Paul? So we'll get down to that issue at the end of this presentation. So I'm, I'm going to start this program with with a quick question, and you can you can answer it uh, on a piece of paper, or you can answer it, to, you know, uh, mentally, however you want to do it. But here's the question: Why do most advisors fail to be top producers? That's an interesting point, right? I mean, everybody comes in it's a level playing field. Basically, everybody's about the same intelligence, uh, attractiveness, whatever. We're all in the same kind of a middle zone in some way. There's no real, uh, I guess the real brainiacs become portfolio managers or actuaries or something like that. But the advisors are really smart people, but you know, all of them good looking, they're all qualified uh, to, 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 to deliver services um, and products. And they also um, have the same licenses. But but look look what happens. Everybody starts in a level level playing field, and yet some people, some advisors, become million dollar producers, two million dollar producers, three million dollar producers. What's the difference? And it's an interesting question, and I, and I want to give you the answers, and then maybe we'll give you some solutions to that. But but I want to back it up with some stats for you first by the numbers. Eighty. Let's do it this way. Ninety percent of all the advisors out there, and, and if we got advisors in Canada, you can use the uh, the this as anecdotal, but it's going to come in about the same. Ninety percent of all the advisors out there are earning less than ninety thousand dollars, and yet again, and ten percent, only ten percent are earning, getting near to being. Uh, you know, we use we have a bar for affluent or high net worth. It's two fifty. Uh, a year getting to kind of like a, a, a decent bar of money is 10%. Uh, eight out of 10 statistically are out of the business within 18 months. That's a phenomenal number. And uh, why they fail, why so many advisors muddle along uh, making, uh, actually a lot of them earn less than 90,000. I, I should refine these stats a little further, but um, we're talking about a very middle income when you're sitting on a gold mine. You're sitting on 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 a huge opportunity. Um, and let's look at the reasons why they fail. First of all, um, I find that top producers. And what, the beauty of my business is, I, I, for me personally, is that I get a chance to speak to high achievers. I get a chance to spend time with the Michael Jordans, with the Tiger Woods, with the Venus Williams. You know, I get chance to be with people who are really, really good at what they do. And I'm talking about top producers. And one of the things I find about top producers and working with them, coaching them, training them, and so on, is that uh, they all have a personal mission. And the people who fail don't have a personal mission. What am I speaking about now? I'm speaking about a desire to grow and expand beyond the ordinary people. So if 10% are earning so much more money than, than the rank and file, uh, in my opinion, one of the reasons is they don't have an internal drive to make money. And there's, I'm not making a value judgment on this. I'm not here to say it's bad or good or money's bad or money's good. Or I think money's good. I love money. I love the idea of money. I love money itself. I, it's freedom. It's taking care of people I love. It's enjoying life. Uh, but they, it, that's not what I'm talking about here. Top producers, people who make money, who expand are committed to growing themselves. And it's not about the money. It's about the experience and the expansion and to become a top producer and get that feeling of, of growth that's possible. And, and of course, the freedoms and the wonderful things that come with it are part of it. But people who don't, why most producers fail is they don't have that sense of I am going to do whatever it takes to make this thing work. I just got licensed, uh, uh, and, and I want to be a top producer in this business. And they don't have that mission. They don't have the mission of to, to personal mission. Because I think we're here on a, on a personal mission on the planet to grow. I think that's our primary purpose. Nothing else really makes sense concerning the fact that eventually I have to leave all the material stuff that you gathered through your lifetime. Uh, 
the only thing that comes down to is what is that experience of life itself? And if you check it out, if you think about this one element for a second here, it's not a small element in this little webinar we're doing here. It's a big element. The big element is if you don't have an internal desire, a mission, a sense of purpose to grow, to expand, to be more, have more, do more, it's not likely you're going to be successful and grow a a very lucrative practice. So it becomes it comes from a, a, a I'll call it generic, but an internal compass that's leading people to ex, to experience a higher level of success than others are. The people who are out of the business in 18 months, or what I call plateau out, which is many, 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 many advisors, the vast majority of advisors plateau at a certain number, whether it's 100 or 150, or they just they get happy there, and that's fine. And I'm making a value judgment of that. But I'm saying the people who make it, who make money, who expand, who grow, who are making serious money have a sense of personal mission. The second one is here, no vision. They don't, they don't, they, they come in the business reacting as, a, as opposed to being proactive. They don't have a clear vision of where they want to see their practice, how much money they want to make, what is the infrastructure of their office, uh, how, how, what's the culture of their particular office or where they work. Uh, so you see, Without vision, there's no success. Everything in life happens twice. First, it happens in our mind, and then it happens externally. So if you don't see, so the top producers, the people who make it, make serious money in this business. They make that money because they have a vision. They see the vision of them making that money and having lucrative clients and and and, and substantial production levels of production. So you have to see that. If you don't see, so you have to want it. You have to have, you have to see the possibility and see yourself achieving. And vision is not a woo woo thing. It's not a new age thing. It's not a I'm from California. It's not a crunchy granola thing. It's a legitimate business thing. Every business business plan begins with mission, vision, values, business plan, marketing plan, org chart, and so on. It's a, it is a, le, a vital part of any business plan. Any business plan. Every business plan. So. Without that, either written, doesn't even have to be written, but certainly that's the way most business plans are done. But no vision is why most advisors fail. I love this uh, quote by Albert Einstein. He said, logic will take you from A to B, but imagination, your ability to vision, your ability to see what isn't there and manifest what isn't there yet will take you everywhere. And that's uh, an important important. Uh, law in terms of success to understand that and and it's more and I think it's challenging sometimes for financial advisors and financial professionals because the world that you live in is so logical it is so built on numbers and and and, and rationale uh that it's difficult to pull away when we're talking about creating a lucrative and and uh, growing practice imagination will take you over. And that's what he's referring to here is the ability to vision. I think what makes this quote particularly important is that this is probably one of the most logical, logically advanced minds that ever walked the planets making this statement. I think that's, to me, that's why it is so powerful. And the third one is no client acquisition systems. Um, one of the things I notice about top producers consistently, when we track this stuff very, very heavily, is that uh, everyone who makes serious money in this business has client acquisition systems. They have some sort of a duplicatable system, a process to bring in new people in the door and create a flow of, of valuable, high value clients, uh, prospects, and eventually clients. Without that process, and I, and I liken it to owning a franchise. For example, if you own a McDonald's franchise, the, the beauty, the power is not in the hamburger. It's a pretty, pretty mediocre product when it comes down to it. Certainly not healthy, we know that. Um, but it comes down to the systems. It comes down to the franchise systems. It comes down to being able to uh, have a complete uh, uh, roadmap for success in that business in all aspects of it. And the most important roadmap for any advisor as far as making money is client acquisition. What are you doing to bring new people in the door? And we find that sometimes uh, that there are a number of ways to do that. Um, but without this, uh, it's hopeless. So this is what I call the sacred funnel. 
sacred funnel. It is the key to all sales and marketing. Now today, in today's world, we call it pipeline. I kind of like the old school uh, funnel because you put a lot more in the top than what comes out of the bottom. So what are you doing to fill your funnel? The only amount of new business that comes out of the bottom is, ba- is, 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 is determined by what you put in at the top. So what are you putting at the top? How many are you putting in the top? The more you put in the top, the more it's going to come out of the bottom. It's sacred. This is the money machine. This is where money comes from, creating a flow of high pro- high value prospects who eventually, some of which become clients of yours. So let's look at the, the, the possible ways for you to solve this issue. Personal mission, that's something you have to ask yourself in, the, in, in your moments of quiet and Reflection: Do I do I really want to be in this business and really knock it out of the park? Do I want to make money? Uh, do I is that one of my goals, or is it more I just like doing this and, and money's not so important? And again, I'm not making a value judgment. Uh, you're really not my you're not my client in a sense because we only do one thing, and that's help advisors grow and make money. So. What are the systems that are out there? We've tracked them down. We've identified these are the only ways to grow a practice. Pretty, this is, if there's something else that's so insignificant, then we don't put it up on the list. But we have networking, which networking uh, people do it. Personally, I found it to be a bust every time I've tried it, and so I don't do it. It's timely. It's a luncheon with the rubber chicken lunch, and you may meet someone, you may not. I, I don't know. There, there's there's networking organizations that do it in a formal way. Uh, it's slow. It's tedious. Um, but it works. There's no question about it. Referrals through client events, referrals through uh, centers of influence, referrals from your best clients, referrals from key other advisors like lawyers, so CPAs, and so on. Uh, that works for sure. Um, we generate gen- definitely generate business referrals. Cold, cold, excuse me. Cold calling is um, it works. Uh, I don't know. It, I think a root canal is better, but it feels better. <laughs> but if you want to do cold calling, go at it and uh, you know have a ball. It works. There's no question about it. Uh, that's the way the industry started many years ago. For those of you who don't know this, but there used to be people called stock brokers way back in, in what my kids would call the prehistoric days. And they pounded the phone for 300, 350 phone calls a day, cold calls. They'd get 20 contacts. 20 contacts would turn into three pieces of business. And in about uh, 24 months to a year, they were making about a million dollars. But they were making their 350 cold calls a day for months, months, and months. So it works. Um, most, it's not real attractive to most of us. Uh, I've done my share of cold calls. Acquire practice. It's timely. It's uh, risky. Uh, but you can definitely grow with new clients just by buying a practice. I've seen some nightmares with that, but but uh, some good some success too. It takes about a year or two to get the whole deal done. Public relations. I'm speaking about uh, books, uh, radio shows, things like that. They work. Uh, and finally, seminars. Uh, when I came into the business, I saw immediately identified as the quickest way to get clients, and the most efficient way to get clients was with seminars. And um, working with some of the wirehouses like uh, Merrill Lynch, Smith Barney, J.P. Morgan, they that that was it was integral to their whole process was seminars. And so I wrote the first book on seminars called Seminar Selling, published by Irwin Publishing, and it became kind of a classic, iconic. Here's the path to success with seminars, written in 1994. Uh, so I've seen I've seen. Uh, it borrowed in many publications since then, which is kind of nice, but a little annoying. Um, extractions from the book, and 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 it was the beginning of me working with people to with this particular model. So there are some, you know, there there are some uh, beautiful things about seminar marketing, and why so many advisors are attracted to it. And when I began to actually speak with advisors and identify what they were you know, how they were uh, built their practice. So many, the vast majority had some sort of seminar marketing stuff. It's beautiful. No selling positions you as an expert. It targets ideal prospects, qualifies automatically, and it's a very fast way to fill the funnel 
and get people and it's it's fun if you if you enjoy it if you're if you don't want to speak you can always have a wholesaler speak but but they're fun to put on uh in general the big they're they're um great um kind of emotional lifts when you're doing seminars to just connect with people and get out there and so on predictable results and we'll talk about that in a minute so results you can expect with seminars which is the client acquisition strategy we're going to talk about today for the remainder of this call is 40 to 60 percent of participants will come in for appointments 40 to 60 percent who come in will become clients return on investment of two to four times now that's that two to four times so you're making two to four times whatever a seminar costs you but remember that's within a period of time you've got those clients that's going to multiply uh, exponentially we're talking about two to four times on your return on investment within about 12 months so that's Let's, let's be specific that you're making money off those clients uh, ongoing after a short period of time. So that becomes, um, you know, uh, cumulative after a while. Seminar challenge is filling the seats, taking a risk. You know, the way it was done for so many years has been mailings, which you have to put five or ten thousand dollars, closer to ten, to get a five or ten thousand piece mailing in a venue and serve a dinner, and and uh, hopefully they're not there just to eat the dinner. It's time, work, it's venue, confirmations, implementing the best practices for seminars. Some challenges with it, why people say sometimes seminars don't work. They do work, but if you got to do them correctly. And they still work, and they're working great. We'll talk about all the people that are making money with them right now. So until now, there must be a better way of taking that 10, 10 grand, which I always found to be a huge risk for almost everybody to, to jump into. But the guys and gals who wanted to grow found a way to do it. And if they if one seminar only three people showed up, then they'd make it up on the next one. But it was risky and, and it was a very tough journey to do seminars until now. And another a company came along that's called White Glove. And White Glove Workshops found that they could do it in a different way. And the way that they do it, the way White Glove does it, based on the founders who built their practices, that's Dean Thurman and Mike Thurman, um, and are devoted to integrity and doing the right thing. They they uh, understood how the advisor mind because they're they are advisors. They're top top producing guys, and they still have their practices. Um, they built their practices with it. And what White Glove, the new way, is to do all the is to do everything involved with the workshop. Be your concierge, set everything up, and all you have to do is walk in the door, and you only pay for the people who show up. That's that's a deal that I thought was a was a racket. I had to actually fly to Detroit and visit the headquarters to make sure this thing was was for real. Because I just went, how can you do all that stuff and just help advisors to, to, to grow in such a way? So White Glove Workshops, they coordinate and deploy digital marketing. So they don't do a mailing. They use all uh, social media. And uh, they have five analysts that just work on computers, doing computer analytics and projections, and working with all the social media platforms. These are this they are the cutting edge of digital marketing. Uh, and I've seen a lot of stuff in, in recent years. They they are on it. They go with the changes. It's a volatile uh, process. Digital marketing it changes daily. It changes weekly, monthly, and they are on top of it with the this expert team. A white glove, um, they research and they book the venue for you, so they find out the best place. They go for educational rather than food. They actually shy away from food, so there's no additional cost. White glove will manage will manage uh, all of the emails and phone confirmation, so you don't have to have your assistant, who's usually overloaded 99% of the time, now following up on email, they do all the email and phone confirmations. A reminder, they do email and phone just before the event. They have the seminars for you. If you don't have a seminar, if your seminar is approved, it's fine to work with it. They're not in the seminar content business. Their seminars work, so they'll they'll tend to, they want results. They only make money if you get people, and uh, we'll talk about how, how well they've done it. They make sure you're prepared. If you didn't ha weren't successful and you didn't get uh, two or five clients from the seminar. They have Frank Mazzelli, who's a wonderful coach. I know Frank many years, and he is one of the best in the business. He specializes in just coaching folks, uh, advisors, uh, how to create success in their seminars. So that they're putting together a package um, that's impeccable, and then they top it off. 
if you don't get new clients, they'll run another campaign for you for free. So they're locked. They're they're locked in. This has this 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 approach, this advisor centric approach, uh, has never existed before. Before this, we've had these kind of run of the mill uh, mail houses, almost like a bit of a racket, frankly, um, doing this stuff and um, making a lot of money regardless of whether you made money. You only pay for the seats that are filled. I'll say it again. You only pay for the seats that are filled. So you're not paying for dinners, for people to eat dinners. You're only paying for the seats that filled are filled, and you're going to close 20% of that room as new clients. If we go 40 to 60, you'll come in for appointments. 40 to 60, you'll become clients. That leaves you with about 20. Some of the folks that I coach are doing white glove. They're actually going beyond 20%. They're up to 30% of closing ratio on their seminar. So really, that sort of depends on you. Bottom line is. Uh, you want to get 20% of, so again, if 20 people, which is what they shoot for a 10 year workshop, you'll have four new clients from that. So white glove shot out of the cannon, like a, like a gun, 2016, hundred workshops a month, 30 employees today, over 400 workshops a month. And that's growing. I think they're up to probably, uh, I think a hundred, uh, employees now that I visited their building. I think they bought it or they, I know they took it over a whole building. They're moving into the next one. And this says it all to me, this stat, because this is showing advisors are not just doing one seminar. They're doing one every quarter. They're doing some, we have some offices are doing one a month. And they're growing exponentially, making huge amounts of, of growth in their practice with these new clients. So uh, I don't have to endorse it. Advisors are endorsing it. And, of course, uh, that's the most important thing. They're getting results. They are achieving results. So um, if you want uh, to get involved with this, we have a nice little deal. I'm going to close that here in the last two minutes. Um, and... Um, I want to tell you about the deal, and the deal is we have a, a, a really cool uh, package, all primarily seminar-based, Seminar Success Manual that I've wrote, Seminar Success Training Audio, uh, the 22 Keys to Sales Success written with Jim Benson from the president of uh, Equitable, Sweet Persuasion Book, high net, How to Market to High Net Worth Households, Double Your Production with Client Events Audio, the Brilliant Thoughts book, total value three thirty. You can you can have that at one hundred ninety seven dollars and shipping. But the truth is, if you want to just get on the phone with somebody from White Glove Workshops and do an appointment with them uh, to see if to learn more, you know about White Glove, they will pay for these books and audios for you for free. No obligation, no guilt. Take them, you know, and they just want you to have them and that they're willing to do that. So I'll say it again, because some people don't believe it. If you want this book package of mine, and if you want to see more of it, you can go to paulkarasik.com. You'll see more information on these particular products and what's in them and so on with, with uh, scripts and letters and emails and all kinds of stuff. Or you can choose to receive all the seven double your income resources for free if you sign up for a complimentary seminar consultation. It'll be about 15, 20 minutes. There will be no sales pitch. There will be no obligation. It will be a discussion about what you've been doing with seminars. It'll be a discussion about if it's a good thing for you, if the details about the financial commitment to uh, when you pay for people that show up. Um, uh, we don't have time to get into this today, but I'm sure you're going to want to know what, what is the cost per Per, per attendee, what we call buying units that are in the room. You're going to pay for buying units. You also get the list of the people who didn't attend. And my guys and gals are making money with those lists, and they didn't even come to the seminar. So they're getting some of those to come in for appointments and become clients. So no obligation. If you want all that stuff, here's what you got to do. It's 1030, and I, I'm ending on time here. And that is to call up Elizabeth Van Horn. 248-791-4005 or email elizabeth.vanhorn at White Glove Workshops and get on with her and, and just find out more, you know, learn more and we'll, we'll ship you the books and maybe you'll be doing seminars and making money. Elizabeth, are you on the phone in the, as a panelist? I am. I am on the oh, phone, Paul. 
Great. Do you want to do you want to introduce yourself and and uh, just uh, invite them to have a call with sure, you? Sure, sure. Yep. As Paul said, my name is Elizabeth Van Horn, and I am an account executive here at White Glove Workshop. And you have my number and information there. Paul and I have been working together, um, going around the country and doing some of this, uh, these seminars together in terms of giving out the information on what you um, learned about us and what we do. So we've been around together for a while now. But I'd love to sit down and chat with you a little further and find out if White Glove is something that could be put into your marketing budget for the 2019 year coming and um, just walk you through the process and see if it's the right fit. So. Go ahead and give me a call or send me an email, and we will chat. Great, thank you so much. Yeah, that, that you're that, welcome. And I, and 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 Elizabeth, uh, you know, it represents to me why I've chosen to be strategic partners with White Glove Workshops, and that's it, it, she is a, a perfect example. This is a company that has the highest integrity, the highest level of customer service and care. Every single advisor, maybe because the company was started by advisors, uh, every every single person in the company is respectful, uh, understands the advisor's role, and 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 really is committed to helping advisors grow their business. And that that's why I am a huge fan, and I've chosen White Glove to be a strategic partner of mine. I fought this battle of get of helping people to do their seminars. And always got to this point where you, is you have to risk five or ten thousand dollars. And I thought, God, that you know, I can do it. I'm an entrepreneur, but a lot of people can't do it, and it's just such a big challenge. But if you know you're only paying for the people that show up, and there's no other costs associated with this, then and and somebody's doing it all, and there's no overload on your office, and you just have to show up and and, and set some get some appointments in. Um, to me, it was a, a personal thing to establish this relationship. It was not a financial thing at all. It was to say, guys, if you want to grow your business and you want to make money, uh, this is a no-brainer. This is, you know, this, you you can't you can't deny this. So, again, today's program was geared for people who want to make money. I hope that maybe I said something that was relevant to you, that uh, you got something out of it. That would be my my sincerest desire. Um, if you feel like you not only got something out of it, but you're ready to take action, then you need to call Elizabeth at, and just have a, a nice conversation. She'll get back to you, I'm sure, pretty pretty quickly or shoot her an email with your contact information um, and, and learn more. Get the, the, you know, how it works and the, and the pricing and so on. But the, the bottom line is you only pay for results. All the risk is gone. They'll guarantee you're making money. And um, that's that's an incredible package. There, you know that that doesn't get much better than that. So with that, I'll open it up for a couple minutes here. Um, anybody Definitely. who has a question? Yeah, thank you, Paul. Thank you for that. And we do have a couple of good questions. I do want to reiterate again: you can reach out to Elizabeth at two four eight seven nine one four zero zero five or elizabeth.vanhorn at whitegloveworkshops.com. Um, I, I mean, just to add a, a, a little add on there, one of the things that I do when we do our Redtail Universities every year is we actually have a seminar tool in Redtail. Hey, how convenient is that? You know, we wouldn't have that tool in Redtail if we didn't think that seminars and, and client events weren't an important part of this industry and of this process. Right. You know, it's, it's built right. in there. And one of my favorite things to do is ask people who is doing client events um, and getting an idea of what they are beyond just educational seminars, because obviously there's value there. And usually we get about 50% of the room who isn't doing anything. Um, and so when we go around and ask people, you know, people, they're doing their retirement workshops and they're doing their lunch and learns, but they're also doing ice cream socials. They're also doing family mm -hmm. barbecues and they're doing a lot of things that is helpful for not only client acquisition, but also client retention, which is absolutely mm -hmm. massive, I think. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, so before we get into questions, again, Paul, Elizabeth, I wanna thank you guys for, for coming here today. Just a couple, um, but one with White Glove, uh, can you have a specific audience, like for example, business owners only? Is that something that, that can be done? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I can answer that, that's okay, Paul. Yeah, please, please, yeah. 
Sure. Yes, that is something that you can do. It's called our custom marketing program. And so that would be something that we would sit down and kind of detail out what it is that you're looking for and, you know, get you the, the proper pricing for it and how we would market that and what we were marketing. So it would be something that you and I would have to work a little bit tighter with and you would have to know that community very well. However, it is something that we do and it's done in our custom uh, marketing program. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Um, is there, is the, the buying unit, is, does that vary? Does that change? Or is there an estimated cost per buying unit? Yes, there is. So the buying units, are, they consist of a husband and wife or a single individual. And they start at 210 per household is what we refer to them. And they go up from there based on the topic. So it depends on the topic of your choice and which, where the price point would be. Sure. But the key thing to keep in mind with our program is you don't pay for registrants, you pay for results. Absolutely. Absolutely. And obviously they can reach out to you for more information about the different topics and whatnot. Um, absolutely. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, fun question. Do you, uh, are you familiar with Heather Wilson? I sure am. I just was sitting with her about five minutes ago. That was one of the questions is, are, are you in the same, do you function similarly together with Heather? Yes, we are what we call senior account executives here in a sales department. So she and I work together as part of the White Club sales team. We have our own accounts. However, we work side by side with each other. Awesome. Very cool. Um, well, that's well, all. It, it sounds like somebody was involved with White Club. <laughs> it certainly sounds like somebody's looked into it before. That's for sure. Um, that well, that puts us at right about the forty-minute mark, which is fantastic. Um, Paul, as always, I appreciate your time. Um, I love the takeaways that you give because, listen, as great as White Glove is, one of my biggest goals is making sure that at least our attendees are aware that they should be going out and doing these things. They can take advantage of these client acquisition strategies. And if they're not, uh, (laughs) they should. Right. Well, Um, I I just, I I always say, if you're not, if you don't pick, if you say you want to make money and you don't do white glove, I don't want to talk to you (laughs) because, because, because you're not being authentic. You're not being authentic. And you know, there is no, they've, they've really taken away, Imagine my position, Ricky. I've been working 20 years helping people to do seminars. And every time I get to that point, we've been doing seminar workshops, seminar universities. I mean, this is 20 years of my life. Right. And when it gets to that last point, they say, well, you have to take ten or $10,000 and pray. Uh, everybody leaves the room. Right. You know, uh, they were all into it. Oh, yeah, you get people, talk, it's fun, you meet them. And then, then you get to this ten grand and risk it. Risk it, not ten grand, and we'll get you four clients. Risk it, right? And they all go, "Oh, I mean, three people can show up, or if it snows, no people show up." And right. I took ten thousand dollars. And so, imagine what how I felt when I said, "Oh my God!" For ten years, I struggle with advisors helping them, and then I can't get them over this hump. I, I've written three books on this, right? Right. Uh, and I can't get them over the hump because it's too much for the for so many people. Sure. But if you knew you're only paying for results and you're, they're guaranteeing the results, then I said, okay. So if you want to grow your practice and you're not doing this, then I, I, I just, I, I don't really have, we'll talk, we'll talk about the game last night, but we're not going to talk about <laughs> nothing else professionally to talk about you. With Absolutely. You know, you're good. And I'm not making a value judgment on them as people. I'm just saying, you're not being authentic if you want to grow and you don't do seminars. Oh, I want I want to make more money, but I don't want to do seminars. Well, right. if you can get sponsorship for these, there's a lot more discussion around this topic. We don't have the time sure. for today, but but the point is, it comes back to no personal mission, no there's mission a, to grow. No, exactly. That, there's a big difference between investing for a possibility or investing for a, a guarantee. Is right, this big difference between those two. Absolutely. Right, risk. There was risk, and and it's funny because that's the world of an advisor, right? Nobody, right, they, right, they, right. They, you know, all day, they, every day, a client walks in and says, "I, I want to make money, but I don't want to risk my principal." Like that's right. all they hear all day, and now, you know, you know, so it's kind of their world, so they understand this really well. But 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 the proof's in the pudding, and the growth of this company, and the the. The, the value that they deliver to advisors is it's one of the most 
if we listed the most dynamic things that have happened in terms of my world, helping advisors make more money, this is a this is a uh, bellwether event. This company, yeah, for sure, pretty great. You know, so yeah, it's pretty great. Absolutely, awesome, Paul. Well, thank you again. Thank you, Paul, as always so much. Thank you, Elizabeth, for being on. Thank you for everyone who attended today. Um, much appreciated. If you are, if you are um, watching this right now live, there will this recording will be posted. It will be on the help desk. If you are watching this on the help desk, then you are living in the future. Uh, so okay. thank you so much. Um, but for that, I'll go ahead and wrap this up. Um, again, much appreciated for everyone involved. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you for all those intended. Everyone have a great rest of the day. Really appreciate it.